Hello, welcome to our unique learning system math lesson. My name is Charlotte Lucas. I am an autism low incidence mentor teacher with Richmond Public Schools, and I am delighted to be able to work with you today. Our math lesson today is subtracting three digit numbers with regrouping, which is called borrowing. Our focus for today is recognizing which operation symbol we should use. We're gonna discuss the focus of our lesson. We're going to demonstrate borrowing with three, three digits. Then we will solve subtraction word problems and we'll use a calculator to check our work. We have a lot to do, so let's get started. All right, this is our first problem for today. And I want to talk with you a little bit about the, the vocabulary. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so I can see it because I know you can see, but I wanna talk a little bit about the vocabulary. We're gonna be doing word problems. We're gonna have to decide what operation symbol we'll be using. But I wanna see, uh, let's uh, dis talk, discuss some of the vocabulary. I've been saying operation uh, symbol and the operation symbols that you are familiar with are addition, the subtraction symbol, division symbol, and multiplication symbol. These symbols are used to tell us what operation we should be using to solve the problem. Some other vocabulary that you will be using today is, we're gonna be talking about place value. What is the value of a digit in a particular place? So the place, the Places we're going to be using are ones place, tens place, and hundreds place. We want to know what is the value of a five in the hundreds place? What is the value of a nine in the tens place? What is the value of a two in the ones place? Digits, when you are just using digits, we don't, we don't know what the value is until you put it in its place. All right. We're also going to be doing uh borrowing, regrouping rather. And we regroup when we need more numbers or when we have too many numbers for our place value. So for instance, this is the value of 100. There are there are 100 uh, um, cubes here, all right? So that would be the value of 100. This is the value of 10 compared to 100. This is your 10 and this is the value of one. So you can see that the value of one is very small. So if you want to know the value, you need to make sure it's in the right place because a one in the ones place is just one. A one in the tens place is the number 10 and a one in the hundreds place is 100. Another thing that we're gonna be talking about is borrowing or regrouping. For instance, if I don't have uh, enough uh, value in my ones place, for instance, I need to borrow from the number to the left. So that would be the tens place. And I need to move that one ten to the ones place. And when I do that, the tens place now, I mean, I'm sorry, the ones place now has a higher number and I can use that higher number to do my subtraction. If I don't have enough in the tens place, I need to borrow. I borrow one each time. But if I borrow from the hundreds place, I'm not borrowing 110, I'm borrowing 100. I'm borrowing 100 and I'm moving it to the tens place. So this number is no longer just 40, it's 140. That helps the value so I'll be able to make the subtraction that I need to do. So I will be borrowing, regrouping in order to do to make this um, the calculations and do the type of subtraction that I need to do. All right, so let's look at our word problems for today. These are word problems. Once you read a word problem, you decide what is the operation and then you place your digits in the correct uh, place. So Danielle is planting seeds in the second, I'm, I'm sorry, in the school flower garden. She has 403 seeds. She plants 350 seeds. How many seeds are left to plant? So this particular uh, problem requires regrouping. And let's see why. In the ones place, if we have three and we take nothing away, we're still gonna get three. So that's okay. But here we have 
zero in the two, we have no tens, and they're asking us to take five away. Now we have to borrow in order for that to happen. So let's see if we can do a quick lesson on, on actual borrowing. So this is a three digit number. All the digits are in the correct space. Can you tell me what is it that we need in order to be able to make these calculations to solve these problems? What is it that we need when we look at this? You're right. We don't know if we're going to add or subtract. There's no a symbol there to tell us what to do. So let's put a minus sign here and a minus sign here. And now we know that we're going to be, our operation is going to be subtraction. <clears throat> All right, let's start with the first problem. We always start in the ones place addition or subtraction you always start in the ones place and you always start at the top when subtracting all right so if i have three and i take two away if i have three and i take two away one two the answer will be one i'm using a number line today as my strategy for for a subtraction um it is always going to give you the right number if used correctly so i suggest you do that uh, when you're when you're doing this manual and you don't have your calculator. So now let's go to the hundreds place. I'm sorry, the tens place. Let's solve the tens place. Go to the tens place. Here is saying two, two tens take away seven tens. Well, I can't solve it if I say two tens take away seven tens. So what I might do is go seven tens take away two tens. That isn't allowed, is it? See, I tried to trick you that time. You can't go down here and say seven minus two because you can't subtract two, uh, seven from two. You can't switch it up. In addition, you can add. It doesn't matter whether you're on the top or bottom. But when you have subtraction, you always have to start at the top. That's the only way you're going to get the right answer. So here we have two tens, and we need to subtract seven. We don't have enough tens. So what are we gonna do? We're going to borrow. We're gonna go next door to the left, always to the left, and we're gonna borrow from the hundreds place. So when you borrow, you only borrow one. In this case, we're gonna borrow one 100. And we're gonna put that 100 that we borrowed here. Now, instead of having two tens, we're gonna have 12 tens. But I want to reduce the size of this because I want you to understand that when you place that number in this box, if that's how you want to do it, that isn't the original number because you should not have two digits in there. But we've just made this, tw this two into a 12, so we will have enough to subtract. All right? So we took one 10 from this four. And if you take one away, you have to change this number. You have to, once when you're subtracting, if you take one away from the tens column, you have to slash that number and give it the new value. The new value is now you have three 100s. You had four 100s. You gave one of your hundreds away and now you have three. So you have to replace that. But here, instead of having two tens, um, yeah, two tens, we now have 12 tens. If we have 12 tens, we can take seven away. So. Let's go to 12 and take away seven. Move to the left, count. Don't count until after you move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 12 take away seven is five. Let's put that answer in. Excellent. Now we have three take away one. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. Three take away one will be two. Excellent. So our answer for that problem will be 251. Let's see if we did that right. Let's use our calculator. Now, when you use a calculator, always make sure your calculator is clear. Here we have a number in our screen. So let's take that out, hit the clear button. I hit both of them because I wanna make sure everything is clear. And let's put in our numbers, 423, the original numbers, not the new number, 312. Three, let's put in the original number four, two, three. So we're going to hit four, two, three, four hundred twenty-three. 
and we're going to subtract. So now we need to find the subtraction symbol. Click that. And now we're going to subtract 172. 172. Now to get the answer, to get the difference, we need to hit equal. We hit the equal sign that will give us the answer and we get 251. We did it correctly. Good job. All right. Let's do the next one quickly because we want to see what happens in the tens place. This is very interesting. Uh, let's go. We always start in the ones place. So we go to the ones place. And the question is, if I have two ones, can I take six ones away? You know you can't. What do you do when you don't have enough? We have to start at the top. We can't say, well, we'll do six minus two and get four instead. No, you can't do that. So you need to go and do what? Borrow. Yeah, we're going to borrow. So let's regroup. We go to the tens place and we're going to borrow one from the tens place. We have a problem, don't we? How many tens do we have in this place right now? We have no tens. We have no tens. So we can't borrow. Right? Okay. So. If we have no tens here, then we're going to have to borrow from the hundreds place so that we'll have some tens. So we went to here, we went here, we had nothing. So now we need to go to the hundreds place and we want to borrow one of those, hun those hundreds. And the 100 that we borrow, we're going to place that right there. So now we have one, the 10 that we borrowed. We're going to add it. I'm going to reduce the size of it so it'll be smaller. And we'll understand that that's a borrow of uh, 10. And if we had 500 and we borrowed one and put it here in the tens place, so that would be, we need to change this number. So we slash it. We have to slash it because slashing it reminds us, okay, what we of what we did. So we slash it. And now there's a new number there. And the new number is four. So we have the number four and the new, and now in the tens place, we have 10 tens. What is the value of 10 tens? 10 tens is what? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10 tens is 100. And that's what we borrowed. So we did it right. Now we have 10 tens. This one's place needs one of those tens. So let's borrow. We'll take one 10 from the tens place. We'll place it in the ones place. That makes that number, we need to make it smaller. We don't want anyone to think that we had two digits in there in the first place. So, so now we have that new number is one 10 plus two is 12. Excellent. So our new number here is 12. We borrowed. So now we have to slash. So let's slash that 10. We had 10. We borrowed one. You always only borrow one. So now we have a nine in the tens place. There are nine tens. Excellent. So now we that took that one and added it here. And now we have 12. Whew. Can we subtract now? Let's see. Ask the question. If I have 12 ones, can I take six ones away? And the answer is yes. We have plenty of them now. So let's do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go to the number 12 and take away six. Taking away means we're making the number smaller. So we're going to go to the left. 12, take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is six. And I put that, the difference is six. And I put that under those numbers. Excellent. Now, look at what happens here. If I have nine and I take nine away, can I do that? Well, let's see. If I have nine and I take nine away, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All for the scale, the answer is zero. I'm sorry I didn't have that zero there for you. I'll remember that the next time. All right, so we have our zero. So if I have nine and I take nine away, there are no tens. All right, so let's make a zero there. No tens. All right, and then 
in the hundreds place. I now have four. This no longer exists. Four, take away two. So let's go to four and take two away. One, two. And we get the answer, which is two. Excellent. Excellent. Let's see if we got it right. I love using a calculator to check. Just to see if I got it right, I don't use the calculator to solve the problem because I want to make sure I know exactly how to do the problem. Once I've done the problem, I'll check it. So look at our calculator. Oh, there's a number there. How will I get rid of that number in, on my screen? Hit the clear button. I hit both of them. That's just me. That's just me. All right. So now we need to add, put our problem in the original problem, because we've done some subtracting, but we want the original numbers. 502, let's put that in, 502. When you're working with the calculator, put the numbers in just as you see them, 502. And our operation is subtraction. So I find my subtraction symbol and I press it, 502, 502 minus 296. Let's put those numbers in, Two nine six correct let's see what the answer is to get the difference we need to press the equal button that will give us the difference and our answer is 206 we did it right i'm very proud of us good job so now we know that we got it right let's go to our problems the word problem that we have we know how to do this now we know how to borrow to have enough to subtract with. So let's see if we can do it. So let's read this again. Danielle is planting seeds in the school flower garden. She has 403 seeds. She plants 350 seeds. How many seeds are left to plant? So we need to find, if they say how many are left, that is a phrase that tells you you are going to do what operation? Yes, the operation is subtraction. Excellent. All right, so let's start on the far right-hand side in the ones place. Three, take away none, will be what? Three, let's see if we can get in there so that we can. The, the answer will be three. If we have ones and we take nothing away, then the answer is going to be three. Excellent, let's go to the tens place. Uh-oh, we have a problem. If we have zero tens and we need to take five tens away, we don't have enough tens. What are we gonna do? Borrow, excellent, go next door and borrow. So I'm going to go next door. I'm gonna borrow one from the hundreds place. Let's see if I can get this to go into this box. So I'm going to borrow a one. So my new number is 10, but here this number has to become, let's see if I can get that number in the box up there. The new number here, if I have four and I take away one, the new number is going to be three and we get to slash that number. Let's see if that works for us. Very good. We borrowed one from the hundreds place and that left three, we slashed it. With the one that we borrowed, we put into the tens place. Now I have one 10 in the tens place. I'm sorry, one 100, because 10 tens equal 100, excellent. And I am now able to subtract. So if I have 10 tens and I take five tens away, so if I have 10, I'm gonna use my fingers this time and I take five away, let's take that five away. I now have how many? Five, excellent. So the answer here will be five, excellent. Now, let's see what happens in the hundreds place. For the hundreds place, we had three. Remember we had a new number three. And if we take three away, if we have three and we take three away, we will have none. So should we put a zero there? Not necessary. It's not necessary. Our answer is 53. Let's see if our calculator gives us the same answer. Oh, I'm going to have to move this calculator. Let's see. All right. The original, num uh, original number 403 minus 
we're going to subtract. So we have to hit our subtraction button. Three, five, zero. How will I get the difference? I have to hit the equal button. And the answer is 53. We did it right. Oh, my. That was very good. You have learned a lot today. Let's do one more problem. Then we'll call it quits for today. This problem, let's see how it reads to make sure we're using the right operation. Ryan and Randy are counting rocks in the school flower garden. Ryan counts 197 rocks. Randy counts 159 rocks. How many more rocks does Ryan count than Randy? See, this is a tricky phrase. It says, how many more than? When you hear that phrase, how many more than? You know your operation is going to be subtraction. Very nice. So how do we start? We always start in the ones place and we always start up top. So in the ones place up top, it says, if I have seven ones, can I take nine ones away? No, you cannot. You don't have enough. So what are we going to do? What's that word we're using? We're going to borrow. We're going to regroup. So I'm going to borrow one of these nines from the nine. That's going to make that new number eight. And I get to slash the nine. And the one that I borrowed, I'm going to put it in the ones place. And now my new ones number is 17. And if I have 17 and I take away nine, let's use this strategy. We're going to strategy. We're going to put that 17 in our head and we're going to use our fingers to count on, to count down to see what our number will be. We're going to have 17 and count down nine. So let's 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So the answer here would be eight. We've got all kinds of strategies for counting, don't we? Whatever gets the right number. So here we're going to use the number eight. Now we have the number eight and we're going to take away five in the tens plate. Eight tens take away five. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Let's go. Eight, take away five. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. The answer is three. Excellent. And in the hundreds place, we have one, take away one. If we have one and we take one away, how many are left? None. Do we need to put a zero there? No, we don't. So let's use our calculator. I love using the calculator. And this calculator has something on the screen. We're going to clear it using the C uh, symbol. And let's put our original numbers in. The original number was one, nine, seven. Subtract using the subtract symbol. Press that one, nine, seven. Subtract one, five nine. And to get the answer, we need to hit what button? Excellent. The equal button. And we find that the answer is 38. We got it right. Guys and girls, you've done a wonderful, wonderful job here today. We learned how to borrow using three digit numbers. We use it and we were successful each time. You did a great job. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.